Alright guys, this is another nuke video. You guys seem to be enjoying these, so I'm going to keep putting them out. Um, what I like to do is uh, I'll edit the game, basically. I don't want to show, this is I think a 22 minute game, so I, I didn't figure you wanted to see the whole thing. Um, pretty much what I did, I just cut out the part where I just get the nuke streak, the 25 kill streak in a row without dying, because I think that's pretty entertaining to watch. Um, you'll see my style. Now, uh, keep in mind that I'm, I'm going to try to go in depth a little bit for m basically what I do. And you'll see this is the same class as using on the Karachi Nuke. A uh, link to that will be in the description. Description. Description or in an annotation on the screen so you all can see that one if you haven't already. Um, same class setup as the last one. And I'll, I'll go over a really quick why I use this class setup. Um, the ACR, in my opinion, was the trump gun of Modern Warfare 2. Yes, there was a lot of other good guns. Um, I could easily use a TAR-21, a SCAR-H. Um, and I actually do use the Scarge for the second half of this movie. So I'll go over that part and why I switched later on. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you how I switched in a second. Um, the ACR is virtually a recoil-less gun. Um, it does pretty low damage. It's a three to four bullet kill with stopping power. Um, considering some of the guns in Model for 2 were a two hit kill, uh, that is low damage. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, I didn't put myself at a disadvantage. But with the low recoil, uh, the gun's incredibly powerful because almost none of the shots will miss if you can hold your target and get a little bit of aim assist. Um, the beginning of this video, I put claymores down in the main entrances to my building. I'm going to call this my building because I'm defending the bomb. I don't want anyone to get in here. I want to make sure that we win this round because I like to win defense. I don't like winning offense. I like winning defense. Um, the quick reason on that, side note, the reason I win defense is because I don't actually have to do anything. I have to guard the bomb and let people come toward me so I get free kills. Whereas on offense, it's not a big deal losing offense because um, that way you save lives. You don't have to send a guy to suicide to the bomb in the last 10 seconds when everyone's going to be guarding it. You know, you're probably not going to get a plan off, off of it. So that's why I like to lose offense. I don't really like pushing my teammates too hard. Defense is nice and easy. The kills come toward us. We get the streaks, etc., etc. Um, Air support did a little bit more of this game than it did in the last one. However, I get pretty close with my chopper gunner. I, the round ends. I switch classes to a SCAR-8 silenced. The reason I want silenced is because for the last few kills, I, do, I want to be undetectable. I don't want anyone to be able to know where I am or anyone to be able to find me and kill me when I'm only a few kills off my nuke. So uh, I, play it, I play it really defensive, not going to lie. I incredibly campy. The second half of the game right here, there's only 45 seconds left in the round, which is a stupid time for me to call on the chopper gunner. The reason I did it, though, was because previously, I think the previous game, uh, I, or maybe it was a few games before this, uh, my ass had been kicked when I held off a chopper gunner, ended up dying in the last 30 seconds, so I decided, what the fuck, just call it in, let's get some kills right now. Uh, but didn't get toward the nuke, I didn't get, uh, I got about 3 or 4 or 5 away, something like that. I got in the 20s of a streak before uh, the next round started, and I wanted to make sure that when the next round started, I had a good class gun set up, so I used a suppressed a Scar H. Also a recoil, but very high damage. Um, the main thing about that class versus the ACR at the red dot side is the silencer, obviously. I did not want to show up on radar. I wanted to make sure that when I get my kills, slow and steady, you know. And when I get those last five kills, I could get the nuke. And my role in this game was uh, I actually had three people doing support and three people being the nukers. Well, I didn't have a very strong team, so I decided I was going to take the leading role in getting the nuke. Just in case, you know, for whatever reason, a bomb goes off and we can't defuse it in time. Uh, the nuke's always a good thing because that way it's basically a safe catch, you know. If we're going to win anyways, I'll call it in just for a few points and a couple extra kills. But if we get to the point where, you know, the bomb's got 10 seconds left, their whole team's over there, somehow they, they position themselves, and they're going to have control of the engagement there, we got no chance of defusing that bomb, you know. Nine times out of ten, unless we can get a stealth diffuser in there, um, they're going to get the bomb off and we're going to get a loss. And I don't really like losses. Um, really recently, they've been starting to bug me, you know. I don't, I don't really like getting losses. It doesn't really matter, I guess, because, you know, win-loss, no one really cares about it. But I think it's important to always get the victory inside of a game. That's why I went on a little bit of streak of nukes, because I, I appreciate the nukes a lot more than other people do. I think that uh, people look at them as kill whoring, whereas I think it's the ultimate sacrifice for a teammate. To I mean, I was not playing uh, in a fun manner. I don't enjoy sitting here and camping behind little blocks and waiting for kills to, you know, eventually come to me. You'll see in other of my demolition games, I like spawn rushing like a bitch. Like, I get so far up in that spawn that I'm watching them as they pop up after watch after skipping the kill cam. Like, it's ridiculous what I can pull off. The thing is that it's very risky, and I'm generally not going to get a 25 kill streak when I do that. That's why I was playing a lot more defensively. You'll see, uh, not right now because I have a chance to die, but when they spawn back in, I tell my teammates to push forward, you know, get way far inside of the spawn. And uh, you'll see them at the, end of the, at the end of the game. They'll have more kills than me. I think I actually placed fourth place in this, which is incredibly rare. 
I'm not going to try to show off, but I'm generally the best player on my team. That's just the way, because I've played Xbox a lot. I've got something like 30 days played on Modern Warfare 2. But um, getting the last few kills, I was playing incredibly defensively, way more than I normally would. It killed me to have to sit this far back and wait for the kills to come to come toward me. But I knew that I need my team needed the nuke, just in case. It's a safe catch, like I said. And I wasn't going to spoil it when I'm only a few kills away. So um, I played it safe this way, got the nuke right there, skip scene to when I call it in later on in the game. Um, I don't think we actually ended up needing it, but the game was like six seconds to over. I said, you know, whatever, let's just go ahead and call it in. So I went ahead and called the nuke right there, you'll see. Uh, game's over, guys. Hope you enjoyed. More nukes coming every single day, so subscribe for those. Uh, different maps, different class setups every time. If you like the videos, make sure to click the like button. It helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys. Catch you later. Bye.